Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Ultimate Doom. I am Gaming Matt and we're on the final level of episode 1, Knee Deep in the Dead, E1M8, Phobos Anomaly. And I could just barely hear the music but it should be fine on the recording. But yeah, Sign of Evil, favourite song. Not song, track in the uh, Doom. Definitely my favourite track. It's just so atmospheric and so creepy. I love it. It just fits so well in Doom. And I think Andrew Hall Short uh, done a very good job of uh, remixing it as well. Although, um, now that I think about remixes, wasn't there Because there was this other guy that, um, what was his name now? Ashley Carr, was it? Yeah, um, he used to, um, he, w he was doing Doom meet remixes, and to be honest, they were really freaking good. But it was only recently that I heard that he um, passed. He passed away. Which is very unfortunate because that guy had so much talent, man. It's really sad he's gone. So, respects out to Ashley Carr. If nobody ever listened to Ashley Carr's uh, remixes, definitely have a, have a gander on YouTube. It's definitely worth worse uh, worse no worth listening to. There we go. Time for the uh, old chain gun. Oh, something big and it's pink. Well, not that. Come on now. Get rid of you lot. But yeah, it. When I heard that he. Um, passed away it was like oh my god you're kidding me it's like he, he done it's like yeah. what is with you know life taking away talent pe talented people also somewhere with no remorse it's like death waits for no one yeah no shit sh I'm trying not to swear because I don't know. It's like trying to be YouTube friendly, oh well. It's like I don't want to miff off any people by swearing a lot. Don't want to be annoying. Be innovative. Be weird. Be jammy dodgy. Fancy some jammy dodgers actually. To Benangoni. Yeah, it's no wonder uh, John Romero did a uh, a remake of E1 and Mate. It was because obviously it's too short. But when I looked on John Romero's version, it looked pretty damn good. Um, it was five times as big and longer. And. Um, It was also very, very difficult from the from the look of things, looks of things. But yeah, um, yeah, it looked pretty damn good. It's a shame I have to have the set volume so low in game. Otherwise, it's just going to be too loud on the recorder. Oh well. It's the price you pay for such things, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, to the end of the level. Tally ho. Oh no, what do I do now? Once you beat the big badasses, 
and clean out the moon base, you're supposed to win, aren't you? Aren't you? Where's your fat reward and take it home? Where the hell is this? It's not supposed to end this way. Stinks like rotten meat. Looks like the lost Amos base. Looks like you're stuck on the shores of hell. The only way out is through. To continue the Doom experience, play the shores of hell in its amazing sequel, Inferno. Now, fun fact, I was watching a Let's Player play this game many a time. And he mentioned that this was um, the end of a shareware version where they give you the whole of episode 1 for free as a demo. And then you can decide if you want the full game or not. I was like, oh wow, that's pretty good. It's like he said, it's like they don't make demos like they used to. Defo. They definitely do not make demos like they used to. And it's a real darn shame as well. But yeah, that's the whole episode one done. Somehow we died, but you know what? Doesn't matter anyway. But yeah, <coughs> excuse me. Next time I'll be uh, doing the Shores of Hell. And uh, so far, as we first let's play, it's been really fun. And I uh, hope many people enjoy it. Anyways, take care and thank you so much for watching. This is Gaming Matt signing off. See you on the shores of hell.